Everyone is buzzing for the 2025 Mazda CX-70, and here's why. The new Mazda CX-70 will be available in both hybrid and non-hybrid configurations. The plug-in version will share the same 323 horsepower powertrain as the three-row CX-90. That pretty good power output will be delivered by a 2.5-liter four-cylinder engine paired with an electric motor. The combustion engine itself should produce around 185 horsepower and 192 pound-feet of torque, with the electric side bringing an additional 173 horsepower and 199 pound-feet of torque. Based on the CX-90 performances, the CX-70 should sprint from 0 to 60 in about 5.8 seconds which is certainly fast enough for a vehicle of this type. The onboard 17.8 kilowatt hour battery pack is expected to provide around 26 miles of electric driving per a single charge. You should be able to charge it from 20 to 80% in about 90 minutes on a 240 volt connection. The non-hybrid CX-70 will be equipped with a turbocharged 3.3 liter inline six engine, making 280 horsepower in its entry level form and 340 horsepower in its higher trims. We call it non-hybrid because it's not a plug-in hybrid, therefore it can't run on electricity alone. However, the 3.3 liter inline six still benefits from a 48 volt mild hybrid setup, which chips in with 16 horsepower and 113 pound-feet of torque to help improve the car's performances, especially during the initial takeoff. We don't know the exact zero to 60 miles an hour times, but based on the CX-90, which has pretty much the same engine, the 3.3 liter CX-70 should sprint from zero to 60 in less than 6.3 seconds. Seconds. Both engine configurations work with an 8-speed automatic transmission and an all-wheel drive system. Under normal driving conditions, the power is mostly sent to the rear wheels. That means the Mazda CX-70 has a rear-biased all-wheel drive system, which should help it handle better than many other rivals that shunt more power to the front axle. However, depending on the driving scenarios, power can also be sent forward to improve traction and handling. This distribution of power is based on steering input, wheel slip, and the weight transfer in certain cornering, braking, or acceleration scenarios. The CX-70 shares the same platform and most of its bodywork with the three-row CX-90, but it still retains a distinct personality. First of all, the CX-70 looks a lot more athletic than its three-row sibling. It features a lot more gloss black elements than the chrome-laden CX-90. The front grille receives a black mesh pattern with a unique front bumper and larger faux grilles on the sides. The design updates continue at the back with a revamped rear bumper featuring faux vents at the corner. The mirror caps, door handles, and roof handles handles all showcase dark finishes. There's even an option for some pretty cool 21-inch wheels in gloss black with machined surfaces. Moreover, the roofline maintains the same rounded shape as on the CX-90, which works quite well with the overall sleek bodywork and the angular shape of the rear windows on the CX-70. Overall, the CX-70 exterior looks more attractive and somewhat aggressive when compared to the CX-90. The available black accents really work well with the bodywork. On top of that, you get really upscale features, such as standard automatic on-off LED headlights with auto leveling, LED daytime running lamps and taillights, high beam control, heated and power operated door mirrors with LED turn signal indicators, an electrically powered sunroof and rain sensing windshield wipers. The interior is probably one of the strongest selling points for the CX-70. It'll feature similar trims as the third row CX-90, but the available Napa red leather with a black accent stripe is CX-70 exclusive, joining a black interior with contrasting red stitching on the unique steering wheel and door panels, a tan interior with two-tone accents, or a full red style inspired by the 100th anniversary edition of the MX-5 sports car will also be available. The overall design is upscale with a hint of sportiness, and the the materials are soft and high quality. Everything you see and touch, from the buttery soft Napa leather to the nice contoured seats and the stylish two-tone trims, will make you feel like you're in a luxury SUV. And that's something that gives Mazda a major edge over its non-luxury competitors. For example, the PHEV models will get an eight-way power-adjustable driver's seat with two-position memory and power-operated lumbar support, frameless auto-dimming rearview mirror with home link and three-zone automatic climate control. Buyers of the 3.3 Turbo S Premium package will enjoy Napa leather seating with heated seats in the front and rear, ventilated front seats, and leather-wrapped heated steering wheel. Mazda has not given up on physical buttons yet, which will help keep distractions to a minimum while driving the CX-70. Let's not forget that the CX-70 and CX-90 are nearly identical inside. And since the CX-70 has ditched the optional third row, that means you'll literally bask in all that legroom and headroom. You'll enjoy the panoramic sunroof and the reclining rear seats, 
while all of your things will be nicely tucked away in the underfloor storage box behind the second row. Moreover, you get a 1500 watt charging outlet to power or charge any equipment you might need to store in that cargo area. Neatly nested into the dashboard, you'll find either a 10.3 or a 12.3 inch infotainment screen, depending on the trim level. Both should work with wired or wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as standard, and it can be controlled with a rotary knob conveniently placed on the center console. For the first time, Mazda will also offer Amazon Alexa integration. It will enable voice controls of some of the onboard functions, like climate and media controls. Moreover, you could also sync your car with Amazon Home Equipment. Imagine telling Alexa to set the temperature, change the radio channel, or even control your smart home devices. The CX-70 will ride on the same 122.8-inch wheelbase as the CX-90, and it will be nearly the same length as its third-row Big Brother SUV. No clear dimensions or cargo numbers were given, but some of the revised bumpers might affect the length of the car by a few tenths of an inch. We don't know the exact width of the upcoming CX-70 either, but the reports show that there will be enough room for three adults sharing the back seats without needing to be the best of friends, if you know what we mean. Therefore, another major selling point for the new CX-70 will be its impressive storage capacities and interior space. Since there's no third row, the CX-70 will feature a massive cargo area with a handy extra storage below the trunk floor. The rear seats fold down completely, offering an almost perfectly flat surface to even sleep or lounge while on your camping journeys. Based on the CX-90 data, the CX-70 should provide at least 40 cubic feet of space behind the second row, and about 75 cubes with the seats folded down. Moreover, you only need to push one button inside the cargo hatch to fold down that second row, which is a very nice and thoughtful feature. The towing capacity is estimated to be at around 5,000 pounds for the six-cylinder engine and 3,500 pounds for the four-cylinder plug-in hybrid version. The new CX-70 will come with the iActiveSense safety features, such as smart brake support, blind spot monitoring, the Mazda radar cruise control with stop and go, driver attention alert, lane keep assist with lane departure warning, and rear cross traffic alert with rear view monitor, giving static guidelines. Depending on the trim level, the CX-70 could also feature the cruising and traffic support technology, integrated with the unresponsive driver support. This technology can detect when the driver is tired or not responding, as in the event of a medical emergency. And after a couple of escalating prompts and warnings, the car will activate its hazard hazard lights and come to a gradual stop on its own, keeping in its lane. The CX-70 Premium models could also feature the Secondary Collision Reduction System, designed to apply the brakes after a rear-end collision, with the purpose of avoiding a secondary front collision. According to Mazda's latest press release, the CX-70 with the 3.3-liter turbo powertrain will have a starting price of $40,445 and feature five trim levels. The 3.3 Turbo Preferred, Turbo Premium, Turbo Premium Plus, Turbo S Premium, and Turbo S Premium Plus, which is the most expensive at almost $56,000. The manufacturer's suggested price for the 2025 Mazda CX-70 plug-in hybrid starts at $54,400 for the PHEV Premium and $57,450 for the PHEV Premium Plus package. The PHEV Premium will feature four driving modes, sport, off-road, towing, and EV mode. From the get-go, you'll get gorgeous 21-inch wheels, a power-operated panoramic sunroof, a hands-free power lift gate, a 12-speaker Bose system, wireless phone charging, a fully digital 12.3-inch digital gauge cluster, and a heads-up active driving display. The PHEV Premium Plus builds on that offering with windshield wiper de-icer, a 360-degree view monitor, and even trailer hitch view. Look for it in the dealer showrooms this spring.